He's wanting to go. Don't go. <gasps> oh, good one on the fly rod. Come on. You got to be getting tired, bro. Come on. The fight of a lifetime. $34 fly combo. Quit it. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today we are gonna hit up shields and we're gonna try and expand our fly arsenal. We're gonna try and find some budget items. Take a look at what all they have on the shelves. Maybe there's a new fly rod y'all could recommend for us, fly reel you could recommend for us. Maybe we shouldn't be looking at shields. Maybe we should be headed down to Tailwaters in Dallas or maybe over to the Orvis store, which I think is in like Frisco, Plano area. You guys let us know where we should go to maybe purchase some higher end fly fishing gear, but today's video is gonna be all about kind of taking it out for only the third time. The first time we were learning everything from scratch, when in blind. The second day, we actually had a big fish on. I was getting a little better at fighting them. I was using the reel with the drag system and the casting was getting a little bit better. And this is now our third time out. I've watched a few more videos on setting the hook or strip setting, which I believe when you're fishing for bass, you might strip set, just meaning you kind of pull more line to set the hook. Uh, let, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but then also, uh, we just want to try and get out and catch something decent sized on this. So I might tie a different leader. I, it may be referred to as the tippet, but re regardless, I might tie a little bit of a heavier leader today, possibly monofilament, because I want to target some bass. And I know the bluegill and the smaller species will still hit, even with something like a 10 pound leader. If I was going for trout and I had to get real tiny with it, then I would probably continue just buying these leaders and using them. But for the type of fishing I want to do today, I think something like an eight pound, six pound, or 10 pound monofilament leader maybe just depending on what I have in the garage, is gonna work out just fine for us. By the way, if I didn't point this out, there's new fall merch coming from Guggen, guys. GuggenSquad.com, you can save 10% on everything over there with code Weston from all the apparel, rods, baits, etc. So if you're in the market for some new gear, check that out. But I wanted to quickly show you guys. I got a message on Instagram from, it looks like Will Hoban. I'm gonna open these up. I kinda like glanced at the previews but he just sent me what looks to be some fly tips. He said, yo Weston, super cool you're getting into fly fishing. I have a couple tips that will help fly fishing be less of a headache. First, make sure you have a proper rod for bass you want a six weight or above. I'm pretty sure the rod that we have is like considered a five to six weight, so it's not like a specific, and it's also the cheapest one money can buy. So we definitely could upgrade the quality. Love y'all's input on what rod we should get. Stiff rods help you cast heavier line and flies better. So hopefully our casting will get better just by the fact that we're gonna upgrade our rod here in the near future. Next, make sure you use tippet and leader rings. So fly line to tapered leader to leader ring, tippet to fly. Woo, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of steps right there and I'm definitely gonna try and keep it simple today, but I am gonna utilize these tips and grab some tippet plus these leader rings he's talking about. I'm sure they can advise us at the local stores too what's gonna be best. I'm obviously taking everyone's opinions to heart. I wanna make sure we do this thing right and so with that being said, we'll probably end up grabbing this whole setup very soon if we don't find some of the stuff at Shields, which is just the quickest option for me today. Huge store, it's like the world's largest outdoor sporting goods store. You may be familiar with some of them in your area. If, if I start doing some more fly fishing content, I'm sure I'll get some more northerners watching the videos. I imagine you guys are uh, fly fishing more often than we are down here in Texas, but I could be wrong. The leader ring will prevent you from eating up your leader when tying on more tippet. Okay, I like that. And tippet is like a leader for your leader. Tippet comes in a small spool and is more price friendly. Okay, cool. Also check out a video on strip setting, way different than typical bass rods. So like, you know, with a bass rod, oftentimes you set the hook, you really lean into it, but it's sounding like a strip set is maybe what you wanna do for the bass. And that was like me pulling on the fly line essentially to set the hook. So just a little bit different. You're using those really small fly hooks. They should penetrate the skin much easier and you don't have to jam a hook set. And in fact, you could probably break off uh, depending on the gear you're using, of course, right? There's so many variables, but you could definitely break off with a strong hook set on a fly rod. I would assume much faster than your traditional bass fishing gear with heavier equipment. He goes on to say, anyways, I'm looking forward to watching you conquer this new style of fishing. Will, super appreciate the messages, man. Let's go and try and conquer this thing today. We're gonna grab some new fly fishing gear. I have a perfect pond in mind with crystal clear water where hopefully we can learn how to fight these fish a little bit better and ultimately try and catch a big fish on the fly rod. I, I wanna bass over three pounds. It sounds like we might have to get some streamers. Sounds like streamers are what the bass like and I haven't even seen a streamer or maybe I've thrown one that comes with the kit in this uh, cheap combo I had bought but I don't know what a streamer is so I don't know if I've thrown it or not. Is a streamer like the fly fishing popper? Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go to the store. I'll catch you guys at Shield. What? <laughs> Sword fights? <laughs> Flies. Where's the fly gear? Dude, this thing costs more than a metanium. What on earth? 
That's a big reel too. On my recent fly fishing Instagram post, y'all told me to get a reel with adjustable drag, which I would love because I feel like the one that we got doesn't have drag like an adjustable one at all and i don't know if that's normal with fly fishing but i don't think it is look at these handles they're so much better looking over here i want a new reel see now that doesn't look too bad look 60 bucks Ooh, a shields brand okay i see it says seven eight so that's for like a seven or an eight weight rod that would make sense i don't think that's the gear ratio i'm not positive though yeah so that must be the adjustable drag on that one it's the center got it this is looking oh my gosh it's like a dream come true i want one that looks like a mosquito that one i did have yesterday a fly tackle box this is insane dude i'm gonna lose myself in here we got so many fly options look at this i didn't even know you could find this stuff around here i'm just always in the bass section all right what's a what's a streamer is this a streamer that says glass minnow oh wow hmm preset kits i still don't know what a streamer is big old popper what do you even do with this? It looks like a cartoon, not a bait. What on earth? Is this a woolly popper? A woolly thing? I keep hearing about those. Mouse rat. There's a mouse rat. Oh my god. Oh wow. Prices on fly rods are, uh... Let's just say I bought a full combo for 30 bucks. And look at this right here. Are y'all reading that? $600 rod? Hold on, that's light, but I still don't understand what makes it 600 bucks. Core feels good. Look at this real seat. Dude, $600 real seat right there. Turns out it's easier to spend a grand on a fly fishing rod than it is on some bass fishing tackle. Who would have thought that? I, I assume you mainly have like one go-to combo though and you're not carrying around a whole arsenal. You just switch your flies up. To be fair, there's also cheaper options. Not like, not like really cheap, but it starts at like 160 basically. Here, 155. I'm just trying to get a feel for the gear out here and the cost. I will say that rod felt 10 times better than the $30 rod we have. Let me see how like this $150 rod feels. Ooh, she's flimsy. This must be a lighter weight. This is a TFO. This is a nine foot and it's only a two piece. I thought three pieces were more common. Oh, 10 weight. So I think this one's really stout. I don't know what the weights go up to, but I think 10 weight is pretty stout. Maybe that's why it's nine feet as well. Here's an eight weight. I really don't care for the handle's weird. Eight weight, this is nine foot as well. I feel like three piece is the way to go because it's so portable. I don't know if I can look at this stuff anymore. I'm gonna have to go to the Orvis store. I, I think we're gonna get an Orvis branded one, but we'll see because like I know they got very informative staff over there. They're all about fly fishing and uh, so we'll probably end up going over there just to get some opinions. But check us out. We're gonna have to grab one of these things. This is what we need, I think. This is the more natural looking flies very microscopic oh my gosh i'm looking for something that is like the one i broke off yesterday that's kind of like a brownish color just looks like a, a mosquito that's all i'm looking for look at this guy he's got eyes i like this thing how much are these wow three dollars and fifty cents here we go look at this tackle box that's what we're getting all right we really got to get serious i only came here for flies <gasps> they've got full combos yo yo chill stay hey look at this one it's got like Guggen green line what what brand is this is that that sage one this thing's pretty sick. So, let me see this. Does it have adjustable drag? I'll set y'all on that tackle box. Oh God, again, $220. So this is a whole rod in here and everything? Aluminum reel with center disc drag. What? Should we do a video on this? This is $200. This must be like a 10 piece because the case is like a foot. Six piece combo. Your rod is in six pieces. This might be the ultimate creek destroyer. Maybe we should do a video on this. Let me know. 200 bucks. Here we go. I don't like that. I, this one's just so convenient. Oh my gosh, they got the $40 one here. The Fluger. And look, see, this is what I want. I want little mosquitoes like that. That looks so good. Here's the leader and the tippets. All right, we're going to have to just grab us a little kit and get on out of here. Yo, they got a crawfish. I'm just going to load this tackle box up. Take one of you. Eh, I don't know about that. Hmm, that's looking pretty juicy. Where's some nice little natural browns? Oh, wow, that could destroy. Hmm. That looks really good. Let me get two of these. That looks good. Two of those. Oh, money. I like this. This one's looking pretty good as well. There we go, a few options there. This one's looking tasty. I like this one a lot. That thing's like pretty sharp. Let's grab one of him. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for, by the way. I'm just grabbing stuff. Look at this thing. I don't even know the price on him, but we're getting him no matter what. That is legit. All right, y'all, we filled up the little tackle box. Let's go ahead and take this thing to the register and get checked out. Let us know what all we need to grab, though. There's so many options when it comes to all this fly fishing stuff. Literally don't know what I'm doing out here, but I would love to know more and really dive into this thing. It's been fun so far. Let's go. separate okay. in here, so I just kind of toss them in there. We done did it, y'all. We made it out with the flies. I think we spent like 25 bucks. Let's hit the water. All right, y'all. We are at the water. Today might just be the day where we catch a big bass on the fly combo. I took out all the traditional bass fishing stuff. I got all my terminal Guggen baits. Took all of it out. Here is the remainder of the flies that I still have from the kit. And then here is everything we just got. And when I say here, it looks like a few things fell out, but inside this bag lies everything we need. Look at that juiciness. Oh my gosh. We're tying one of these big ones on straight away. I don't know if I should go with the black though. I think I want to do something more uh, realistic or lifelike. I think I'm going to try this one first. I like that. He's a little bit more brownish in color. We'll see if we can do some damage with that. I'll tell you what, these hooks. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That is not a joke compared to the hooks on these flies I bought in that kit. Literally zero organization here and it's just gonna be tossing everything in this little tackle box we bought. Our $3 tackle box, our first ever fly tackle box. So when do you throw yarn? What do you add the yarn to? That is another question I've got because this is really just straight up yarn. So that that is something I'm still baffled by. Now, just in case we do go through all of our leader or tippet or whatever comes on that kit, I did bring some eight pound monofilament, just like as a last resort, right? So if we break off, we do have some line that we can use monofilament floats and hopefully it'll help me keep these flies on the surface because I want to get some top water hits. Tackle box, check. Look, we can have all our flies right here, <laughs> ready on the fly, get it? Last but not least, the gear itself. Also, from everything I've seen on videos online, I think I went through, I went over this loop or this uh, metal bracket and I think I just need to come out after this one right here. I think that line is a little high and it actually needs to be coming off of this one right here. Which one of these would y'all have more confidence in, by the way? This is the one I was throwing yesterday. It seemed to sink a little bit. It's just all black. And then there's this guy right here, a little bit smaller profile, but the color is what I'm thinking looks more natural. So definitely more of a custom feel to this one and like hand tied look and appearance and a strong hook. But um, yeah. Pick your poison, right? I'm gonna have to go through all these eyelets again. There we go. So that's where I'm gonna leave that. After playing with all that expensive gear and shields, I definitely want to upgrade the rod and reel setup stat. But I think I promised y'all some budget 1v1s with a couple of the local guys on the cheaper budget gear. And then I can give a more detailed explanation on why you would buy my lines getting stuck. Once I do a handful of videos with this budget one, I can really tell you the differences between the more expensive gear. Wow, this rod feels flimsy. All right, y'all, quick uni knot to the fly, and we are going to be in the water. We'll be fishing. We're going to have to hit the honey hole right here, this little corner pocket. It gets nice and shallow. I got a hunch. And wow, does this water look dirty. Maybe I should have just kept the black one tied on. Let's see what we got here, huh? There we go. Fish on, fish on, first cast, first cast, first cast. Let's go, come on, sick. Nice bluegill on the shields fly. <laughs> That's a way to start the day right there. There we go, finally got little buddy free. See ya buddy. <laughs> that was so sick. Now, let me check my fly. There could be some bass over there y'all. This, this could get nuts. I really wanna go fish the clear water, but Money, money, money. We're in the strike zone. Come on, come on fly. Dude, what if I could get this fly close to the aerator? I bet I could catch a tank. Oh, 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 golly. Just got a hit, just got a hit. Right here, right in front of us. Look at this bug. It looks just like the fly I'm throwing. That is how you match the hatch. All right, time to go try the clearer water up at the next pond. So I think the move is turning your drag off as you pull the line out and then turning it on right before you cast. That way, 
when you're pulling out your line at the spot, you're not like being super loud and scaring some fish away if they're very aware of your presence, especially when there's clear water like this. Make me my first cast at spot number two. We are really not out that far. Oh, fish, 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 fish. It's a bass, maybe. Nope, it's just a gill. It's, it is really fighting, though. Way better than that last one. So one thing I've learned is that you want to have your rod out to the side uh, versus, like, straight up. That is what I saw from a recent video that I think is going to make a big difference here. Wouldn't it be nuts if a bass just came and smoked this bluegill right now and we catch, like, a five-pounder? All right, we're going to flip them up here. I know it's light line. There we go. There we go. Second fish, baby. Look at him, top of the mouth hook set, a monster gill. Look at that second fish. This is too much fun. I really want to upgrade the gear. This is insane. I think the quality flies are making a difference, by the way. Oh, 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 a bass is on it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I should try a bigger one now that I've caught two fish on it. This water's dirtier than I remember. I might have to tie on that larger, darker one just to be a little bit more visible. Although this thing looks money. Hmm. I think this next spot we're going to hit is a surefire bite. We're going to fish along these reeds in the grass line. Hey, how's it going, y'all? There's fish messing with it. No one's grabbed it, though. Oh, 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 we're on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're stuck. I don't see too many people fly fishing ponds, but then again, I haven't watched too much fly fishing content. I was kind of never interested. I don't know why. Kind of never interested. Kind of like fishing in general. <laughs> I just did not care for fishing until I started watching a couple of vlogs and what really got me hooked was almost like the gear and the bait casters. I was like, that looks cool, man. This is intriguing. And then you start to like fish. You get out there, you do it a little bit. This is an entirely new challenge. Man, we got confidence out of the gate. It was like practically first cast at both ponds we caught a fish. And now we're having to work for it. I might switch the fly up. I say it's time we upsize. Let's do it. What a nice change up, man. You know what our tackle box normally looks like when we come out here fishing? It is monstrous. I am digging the fly life. Here we go. Look at that sucker. Ooh, that's gonna be, that's a ticket for a bass right there. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I don't know if uh, a fly this large is like meant to be thrown on a five or six weight like I'm throwing or not. I don't know like, what fly gear is recommended to toss this i don't know if this thing stays on the surface i have a lot of questions and not a lot of answers i literally just think it looks good and we are going to give it a whirl everything in here should be eating this though even though it is larger it's definitely still a small bait compared to what i'm normally throwing like this is smaller than a ned rig if i was bass fishing with like a you know traditional tackle and at the same time it still has that presentation of all these dragonflies and uh, larger bugs that are hitting the surface of the water that these fish are eating, whether it be the gill or the bass. So we should be in the money. I forget how many times I've already looped this, so I'm just gonna call it good on that uni knot. Throw in the big fly. It's time. Oh, there, oh, that was a big fish. That was a bigger fish. That was a bigger fish. What was that? I just got hit. I saw it eat it with my Ray-Bans, but I did not apparently see it eat it because it wasn't on the hook. I guess I should just be going off of feeling instead of sight, but it's so easy to want to like set the hook when you see a fish nip at it. It was just a little shy of the hook, I guess. Then I probably spooked it. So letting go of the line, pulling on the line a little bit, letting go of the line. There we go. So one thing about the casting distance at the moment too is the fact that I've got this wall behind me. So I really can't cast too much further than this if I'm trying to go out. If I'm trying to go along the bank, I certainly could, but I'm kind of mixing things up, going left, casting this way. Just seeing what might hit the big old mosquito fly. Oh, 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 had a bite. Trying to mix it up with quick, quick rips and then nice little pauses. I think you call that a strip, um, if I'm not mistaken, right, y'all? In the fly fishing world, this would be a, that's a strip, right? You're, it's also a way to set the hook. It's called a strip set. So if you get a bite, you can just pull on it instead of raising the rod tip. That is one way of doing it, depending on the species you're going for. So I hear. Oh, oh my gosh. Had another bite. Okay, so seems to be like working it a little bit slower 
working it a little bit slower, letting it pause is, is uh, allowing them to kind of key in on it and go for the hit. All right, we have made it to the spot. Definitely anticipate a catch right here. Nice flowing water. Fish on, fish on, there we go. There we go, we got one in the shallows. I don't know what we have though. I'm gonna let him take a little line. Let him take a little line. He's actually running y'all, this one could be. There we go, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Come on, let's take him out here. What do we have here? This could be a bass. I think we got a bass on y'all. I think we have a bass on. This is what we're talking about. I'm letting him get out to the reel now. Let him get out to the reel. Oh my gosh, here we go. This is the one, y'all. This is the one. I'm gonna let him go out to the reel. There we go. Come on. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That was like a three pounder. That was a big bass. That was our goal. That was what we're after. That's what we're here for. That was a three plus. Oh my. I thought I was keeping good enough tension. Come on, come on. That's what we're talking about. Oh, what a deal. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting the fighting down though. I'm getting it down. So I didn't like set the hook again, but that fish was, he was on the hook. He was pinned. So literally that just came down to me, maybe not keeping the right tension or when it jumped, maybe not lifting the rod a little bit more. I, I don't think there was much I could have done there. I think that fish was just gonna come on hooked. Um, you know, when they're hooked good, they're hooked good. Wow. Oh my gosh, very exciting. Gives me high hopes for the rest of the evening. When that thing picked it up, I thought it was a small bluegill, but then it's like with the flies, they, they don't fight very much at first because it's such light gear. They're just like, ah, oh, I got me a little, got me a little something. Maybe they don't even feel the hook right off the bat. And then they go wild. <laughs> that was so sick. We're going for a big bass now. Let's go. Holy smokes. There we go. Exactly what we want. Something ate it. Picked it up. Picked it up. Little gill. Get him up over here. Got him. Or is it a bass? It's small, whatever it is. It's small. Okay, oh, get that finger on the rod. It is a bass. I'm gonna let a little line down. I am still figuring this out. All right, there goes that story, y'all. Follow us on Instagram. We'll see you, little buddy. Where's your big brother? That's a confidence booster right there because I wasn't getting any bites on this fly. And now to know that just about anything in this system is gonna hit it is exactly what we want. And if we know that the bass prefer this more than the bluegill, uh, I, I like to throw this size because then Maybe I'll skip out on some of those smaller fish and we'll only get bites from those bigger bass. That's the goal. I want to find the ultimate bass fishing flies. And y'all been telling me about those streamers. I still didn't look them up, even though I was at Shields. There we go. Good cast, good cast, good cast, good cast. I still haven't looked up the streamers. I really need to, because everyone says the bass hit those. Let's get right in that corner. Mm, missed it a little bit, missed it. I'm getting closer, getting a little bit better with the accuracy. I'm also, this is what's behind me. So, you know, for y'all who fly fish regularly, Hopefully that's worth something. You know, it's not like wide open right behind me, so I'm kind of hitting that sidearm cast instead of the overhead. How about these fly fishing pointers from the non-fly guy? Look at that, look at that. Apple Watch, that's really what you want when you fly fish. You gotta make sure you're getting snagged on something or it's too easy. I might have worn this spot out. Last cast, let's, oh, <gasps> dang it. Oh, see, there we go. All right, that's last, that's, that, that's telling me I need to move on. That's literally saying, Weston, why are you still fishing this? You've already caught all the fish. Whoa! Did that just happen? This looped around the pole and hooked itself. That's gotta be a first. Never been done before. Ha! Huh. Urban fly fishing. Wow, I can't believe we let that big one off the hook. We're just gonna have to go for the one that's bigger. Somebody hit this fly. I won't lie, if I get a fish on here, don't know how I'm gonna land it. Fish, fish, wait, turtle. Gosh, dang it. Kinda figured this one was gonna happen, just not that, not the first night, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like magic, I will take it. That's the luckiest I've been all day, considering we missed the only good bass we've had. Hmm, well, I think that was a fish right there. There we, oh, had one. Just had a fish right off the reeds. I was messing around and I can't cast from the right because this tree's too close. So I was literally trying like a backhanded fly cast. I had it like in a decent location and then 
I uh, lost it. Backhanded fly cast, let's go. I feel like this is the perfect cast from down here. I think this is the way to go. Okay, now I'm kind of like standing on the shelf. Now I feel like a real fly fisherman. Oh, fish on. Fish on, fish on, could be good, could be good. Not sure, oh, it's going, it's going. There we go. Come on, this might be the bass we're looking for, y'all. This might be the bass we're looking for. Come on, I hear you wanna pull away from the direction they're traveling. Oh my gosh, I don't know what we have here. Don't know what we have here. It's going out deep. Where are you going, kid? Come on, oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. The best bass we've ever caught on the fly rod. Come on, come on. Now he's going this way, I wanna pull this way. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's like one pound, two pounds, come on. Come on. Oh, it's like not that bad at all. Oh my gosh. It's happening. It's literally happening. We're waiting in the water. This is the real deal right here. This is the real deal. If only I had a little net. Oh my gosh, where's my waders? Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Quit playing, quit playing. I see you, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what do I do from here? It's game over. First decent bass on the fly rod. It's choked. We're gonna have to go over here to get the uh, pliers and, and help them out, but wow, what a fight. Fly fishing for bass, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Potential thumbnail right there. Let's get you back in the water, son. Thank you for that fight right there. We'll see you again sometime, huh? Spur cruising. All right, I'm leaving the pliers handy. I'm gonna leave the bag right here, and we are about to hit that same cast again because I think there's potential, y'all. What I've learned, though, is if you mess up your cast, you can just kind of pull in the slack a little bit, pull up slowly, then take it on back, and you can just kind of recast. So, you know, if you look like an idiot, you can look less like an idiot by just kind of recasting. It's not like you have to leave the fly there with your line all messed up. Just kind of pull in a little slack, and then just kind of start recasting it real quick. Best cast yet. Way over there by the reeds. Come on, fish. I know you want this one. Oh gosh, trigger happy, had a bite, set it too quick, golly. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. It's another bass, I think. He's taking us. Yes, yes, yes. And if it's anything like the last couple, they just start fighting harder and harder as time goes on. This one could be bigger. This one could be bigger. Yes, come on, come on. Let's go, let go. I'm just keeping the line tight right now. He's not pulling so hard that he's taking it out of my hands. Come on. Oh my gosh, this one's digging. Y'all, this one's actually digging. This could be good. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh my gosh, he's going. I don't know if this is a bass or not. Look, he's not, he's not come up yet. He's not come up yet. What if this is a giant? Oh my, we are hooked up again. This is insane. He's wanting to go right. He's wanting to go right. Oh my. We, we could have a monster on here. I gotta get him to the reel. Gotta get him to the reel. Come on, come on. There we go, now we're on the reel. Now we're on the reel. Come on, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we have? I'm tiring him out, I think. It's tough to say. He's wanting to go, that's for sure. He's wanting to go, don't come <gasps> Oh, that one's like what we had earlier. That one's like what we had earlier. Y'all, this is like a three. This is like a three. Oh my gosh. Oh my. He's a good one. He's a good one. Ooh. We got him. Come on. Good one on the fly. Good one on the fly rod. Come on. Big bass, y'all. Big bass. Big bass. Oh my gosh. This is the one. This is the one. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. We are going to catch you, dude. We're catching you. I don't even care. Come on. Come on, come on. This is the one right here. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> We're getting closer. Oh my gosh, he's gonna run again. I don't know how to hold on to this fish. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to let him run. This is insane. I'm getting worn out over here. What is going on? I don't wanna put too much pressure on this reel handle. I want him to be able to run if he wants to because this line can easily snap easily snap we're tiring him out though i think i think we're tiring him out oh my gosh i don't know if i've ever fought a bass this long from the palms oh my goodness he's not that bad y'all this is really a decent bass yes you gotta be getting tired bro come on what is even happening right now i'm holding this like a complete rookie barely know what i'm doing if homie over there on the dock is watching me he's thinking i've got a double digit for real there's another guy fishing here as soon as i got here he had a fish on imagine a five pounder what is even going on Come here, 
All right, we gotta get you. We gotta get you. We gotta get <gasps> ah, 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 We gotta get you. Come on, come on. I know you want that fly. Ah, no, no. Oh my gosh, had I have had a net. Whoo, heartbreaker. I don't even want to call in on that. There's so many big fish around here. There's so many big fish in this pond, y'all. We've got to get one. Oh my gosh, the fight of a lifetime. $34 fly combo. Quit it. That was nuts. What is the curse with me and bass on this thing? Anything over two pounds is just a hard sell. It's okay, I'd really like a four or five pounder now. We ain't playing with the threes. We've already had one on the hook. Man, I think my heart rate was spiked right there. Man, my fingers get tired doing all this. Is that what fly fishing, is this the deal? The sun is setting, man. We don't have much time. Gotta land a good bass. Okay, so now I want a reel with adjustable drag because apparently this one doesn't have that. Is that why you pay $300 for one of these reels? I don't know. I feel like I wore this spot out now. I think it's time to go try the other spot. Finish with a sunset bite in the other pond. There's another bite, there's another bite, there's another bite. This is a, this is a bluegill. This is a small fish. Oh, is it a small fish or is it not a small fish? Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. It's a bass, we're just gonna hand line him. He's not that big. That's all right, I was like just thinking we burn this spot on the fly. What do you do with your rod when you're trying to like hold the fish or all these, ow, it's kind of hard juggling all this tackle. Mm, well, son, all right, go on son. This is still the original leader or tippet or whatever you call it that was tied on when I bought this thing for 30 bucks. So apparently this thing's not that bad. I know the quality of the rod is like not the greatest at all. And I know the quality of this reel is not the greatest at all. But so far I'm liking that little leader line it came pre-tied with. And as far as the fly line goes, I like the fact that this is just orange and bright and really stands out. Breaking into the tackle box. I'm starting to like this fly that I didn't have much confidence in to begin with. I should have grabbed a big popper. That could have been a killer fight. This should be just as good. Got this little popping deal. Ooh, got him. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Ooh, Oni oh, came right off. Mega gill. That is like twice the size of the ones we were catching earlier. Would be nice to catch a big old bass. I'm gonna fish until it's too dark for the GoPro to see, which is gonna be any minute now. Oh golly, he hit it right by the bank. Okay, I wanna go hit this corner real fast and see if I can get a big bass. I think there's just a little blue gill in here. Oh, big fish. There we go, top water hit. That's what we wanted. There we go, I'm trying to get him on the reel. Here we go. This could be the one. Oh my gosh. This could be the, oh, he's not that big. Dang it, false alarm. Oh, I thought we had a big one. Dang it. Oh, he's going wild. Yep. And this is on that popper from the, uh, the kit, y'all. This is one of those cheap baits. Oh, there we go. I know he's not a giant, but that's one of the bigger ones. Oh my gosh, insane. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's actually a big one. That'll close it out. This is the last one of the night. Yep, yep, oh gosh. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. So sick. Dude, this is like way too much fun. Okay, I think I'm figuring out when they wanna run, when they wanna run, I just let go of the reel. I don't want them going in the reeds though. No, 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 don't you even. Come on, this thing to the bank. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Come on up. Yes. Biggest bass ever caught on it. That's like a two pounder. Let me turn on the flashlight. That'll do it y'all. Top water popping to close out the evening. A nice urban bass. Look at that thing on the fly. Let's go. How sick was that sound? Cause you couldn't see nothing. That's kind of lame. We'll just show you the highlights and then uh, we'll catch up with the recap back at the house. Holy smokes, what a day. Don't mind if we do close it out with a nice one, huh? Whoa. <laughs> What a day on the fly combo, y'all. Literally only our second video posted of fly fishing. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We have a lot more to look forward to. Let me tell you what, Devin and I are looking at getting some newer, nicer combos here coming up soon. And yes, this video was a little cringy. I realize some of those fights, I, uh, Devin just let the, Devin just let the dogs in. I realized some of those fights, uh, I should have gotten the fish to the reel a lot faster. I was like holding on to the line on the rod and I should have just been like reeling the line in to get them to the reel. And, uh, and I'm still learning. So second time out on video posting with the fly fishing stuff, but we've been watching a whole lot of videos, learning a whole lot of stuff. We got a lot more coming your way soon. The fly fishing content is about to get amped up and we're not stopping the bass fishing stuff. We got plenty of bass fishing uh, content coming your way. We put out a poll on Instagram and realized y'all, hey, Finn, easy on Max, okay? Max is just trying to, 
He's just trying to hang out over here. We got a lot more fly fishing content coming your way as well as the traditional bass fishing content. Uh, so uh, we do have a nuke punch video coming. I mentioned we had put an Instagram poll out and a lot of y'all wanted to see the nuke punch in use for the first time. I've literally filmed like two or three videos with the nuke punch and just haven't posted it yet because I wanted to have a, a good first video with the uh, the new flip and bait from Guggen Squad. So we've got that coming your way. Go ahead and subscribe, drop a like if you are ready to see that stuff. and. Uh, until then, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Devin said peace out. <laughs> Got him. Got him.